this could be for anyone who might want to answer, but in all of your different case studies, you presented um, very compelling, innovative ideas for how you have um, added value and committed to protecting and restoring ecological integrity in your cities or through this park system. When you talked about the successes of those, you talked a lot about the success of protecting or, or developing ecological industries or green products or focusing on community well-being, which is great. I'm wondering if, as part of doing that, the communities start, is that, is that done in concert with educating those communities about the value of the environment and ecological integrity beyond the economic benefits. In other words, as they get the economic benefits, do they also see the, the science or the, the, of, of, and the importance of ecological um, protection and integrity as well? Does that make sense? <laughs> Please. Would, would anyone like to offer a response? Thank you. I'm from Fuzhou. Let me briefly talk about this. So how can we better encourage our local people to our ecological protection efforts so we conduct a separate work? First of all, there are People's Congress. Our local People's Congress have a legislation right. So we passed a regulation last year, which is the participation regulation regarding ecological participation. So for the general public, have the legal rights to participate in this regard. We have some legal uh, support. And also in our practices, we have some innovation. For instance, in order to encourage our general public to further protect our environment, to establish our ecological citizen civilization, we have a carbon capture platform, which means that we encourage people in green transportation. For instance, we encourage you to go to work on foot. If you go to work on foot, for every 1,000 steps, you will be able to have a token to encourage people to ride their bikes to work. If you do so, after a certain uh, kilometer, you will have the encouragement. For instance, you take buses or public transportation, you also receive encouragement. And also encourage paperless uh, office work. We have a lot of online practice now in government agencies. So we have this carbon coin. So if I have 100 carbon coin, so I can use this so-called carbon coin to buy something. For instance, movie tickets. So four or five carbon coins can get me one movie ticket. So we have some incentives to further encourage the general public to participate in environmental protection and our ecological establishment. Thirdly, we enhance the knowledge-based education starting this year for the content of in how to protect our ecosystem. We listed those contests in our elementary school and middle school curriculum so that we will start to educate our school age kids. So in above mentioned areas, we want to further encourage our general public to know more about our environment protection efforts. Thank you. I think I can give you a more quick answer. Uh, actually, community, community awareness is very um, depending on where the community is. If the community is from uh, uh, surrounding the advanced uh, provinces, economy uh, uh, advanced uh, provinces, the awareness is they want a better uh, environment because their basic uh, livelihood has been resolved. Uh, but uh, most of our ecological high, uh, better areas, but usually uh, their, their livelihood is still very low. It's, in short, it's poor areas. Their priority still is making more um, money, getting their life in bad, better, 
uh, but the, I, I, I can see the awareness is still, uh, is remain uh, going up to uh, eager a better uh, environment, but uh, top priority is still economy develop. Yeah. Thank you, those were really insightful, helpful answers. Please, you, um, would you like to come to the microphone? Thank you. And then Kate, were you coming? Go ahead after. Thank you. Uh, I'm Barano from Indonesia. I really want to know more about uh, the political system. How the political system uh, and the relationship between like county or province with the national government, or you have a, like a authorities or, or autonom autonomous to decide that this is that we want to develop, or you have to get endorsement from national, and then you can uh, uh, doing something in the, your, uh, uh, I mean, in your uh, administrative authority. So can you explore about this relationship between political and ecological? Thank you. Thank you. Today we are talking about ecological products and its realization of the value as well as the protection of natural resources. It is related to politics and also pretty independent from politics. You talked about political system and how we are implementing that. I think we can talk about this in two categories. First of all, the central government and the local government cooperation. We are talking about the leading force will be the central government. And we will need to follow the regulations and the leadership from our central government. However, at the local government level, whereas we are abiding by the regulations and instructions, we have certain innovation or creativity to enforce what is being formulated. For instance, our general, uh, our central government wanted to talk about how we can make sure our green mountains and waters will be turned into profitable assets. So now, so I believe that this will be a guideline for all our nationals and international people from the international world. So we need to abide by that. So there's, it's not a negotiation, but rather we are in force we are the enforcer and we are implementing what we are told and we are followed by the instructions. So we need to follow the instructions led by the central government, whereas we need to have our own function of the as a local government. We have certain creativity and under the premise of the central government, we have certain level of authorities, which is innovation. But we need to make sure that we are abiding by the ecological uh, protection. We need to abide by this uh, general rule. For instance, if you are doing the environmental protection, uh, we need to follow all the guidelines where that's how we can do the green development in the 13 five-year plan. And secondly, all the different levels of the governments, we have certain creativity and uh, innovation. So how can we t transform natural resources into natural capital? So we are doing that in our authorities. And how can we better encourage our general public to do this as the previous uh, participants' questions? So these are very crucial for us. On one hand, we should follow the instructions by the central government. For instance, all of the people will need to care about our environmental protection efforts. This is of great importance and significance. We need to have this awareness. So all our city citizens are already aware of the importance of the environmental protection. We need to conserve our natural resources. This is very important. So. This is a joint effort, not just the central government's officials. We need to um, make sure of that. And secondly, we need to educate our general public from each household to the entire community. For instance, we need to make sure that our forests have a lot of forest lands, and we need to manage our water resources 
even more. We have to ban certain pollutants into our water system, and how can we better manage the garbage uh, from our uh, rural areas? So this is each and every citizen and household need to face. And thirdly, our general public will need to know how to protect the environment. And also, they already experienced for hands that laid about how their behavior will create economic outcomes because we have a better environment, our ecological products have better value and quality so that it is more market appealing. So we will have even more profitable. So this is the outcome that our general public can see and when our environment is better, we will have more tourists come to visit us. So right now our general public already enjoying the economic outcome from protecting the environment. This is why uh, this is the relations between the central government and local government and our people. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Excellent question. Maybe Kate. We'll have two more quick questions. Kate and John, and then um, draw to a close. Thank you. Great. Hi, I'm Kate Brahman with the Natural Capital Project and University of Minnesota. Um, I'm so impressed at the ambition of these plans, and I was wondering if you are able to do monitoring or measurement in conjunction with implementation and if it's possible to shift plans if the outcomes are not as, as good as we hope. I'm from Guizhou, Leishan County. Let me talk about our efforts in our local communities. For us in Leishan County, on different levels, it is there is some control line or red line. So once the control or red line has been set up, it's been protected under the state level and local level regulations. So in our ecological preserve areas, we have three different areas, three different categories. One is the core area, second the buffer zone, thirdly is construction area. So there are three different kinds of different areas. So the core protection areas, local governments do not have any discretion. So for the buffer zone area and the construction area, local governments have certain discretion based on its own development goals. They can adjust it. And local governments have the enough authorities without the jurisdiction of the provincial level government regulations. Let me try to answer this question. I believe that the monitoring will fall into different levels. First of all, central government uh, monitoring. So the annual uh, monitoring system by the central government. If there's anything that being detected, punishment is really severe. Secondly, local government have certain mechanisms to monitoring the progress. For Fuzhou City, we have certain environmental protection regulations and goals, objectives, and green development index. If we we cannot meet those goals, we have some punishment. Thirdly, uh, from the general public, our general public can serve as a platform and if there's any violations, our general public will report to the authorities and then we will have some punishment issued. And also consensus. So the general opinions actually, uh, or the media, the, the power of the people has become more and more uh, severe. So there are a lot of incidents that have been published. Um, some violations in environmental productions that will, if being detected, it will receive uh, fines and some violations and punishments. Thank you so much. Let me pause for one moment. Henry, do we need to leave immediately or do we have a couple more minutes? Okay. Um, then let me invite everyone to please continue the discussion outside. I know there are more questions, but I would like to thank the panel. Please join me in thanking them for beautiful presentations. We've learned so much. I think we would all like to be tourists at the different, the cities, the county, and the parks, and we look forward to that. So thank you so much for making your way to Stanford. <laughs>